Hi there, and welcome back to another video from us here at Hill Engineering. I'm Camille, and today we are going to teach you how to apply a strain gauge. The first step in applying a strain gauge is to prepare the surface. This includes solvent degreasing with a degreasing agent and isopropyl alcohol. This is followed by surface abrading over the strain gauge application area. 30 strokes should be done in the vertical, horizontal, and diagonal directions. Identify a smooth surface, such as an aluminum block, which can be used as a layout surface. Clean the surface with an alcohol-soaked gauze pad. Allow the surface to dry for 60 seconds. Once clean, refrain from contaminating the surface with skin contact. Using tweezers, remove the strain gauge from its envelope and set it on the layout block. Position a terminal pad beneath the gauge. Finally, remove a strip of cellophane tape and press down firmly over the gauge and terminal pad. Before any strain gauges can be applied, the tester must scribe the desired location for the measurement to take place. This can be done with a precision scribing tool, like this height gauge. Zero the tool on the top of the surface plate and adjust to the intended gauge location. The same must be done in the perpendicular direction to complete the crosshairs. The final task before the strain gauge can be applied is a secondary surface cleaning. Scrub the surface with the mild acid conditioner repeatedly using cotton swabs until one remains clean. Wipe the area dry with a single stroke of a paper towel, one direction at a time. Apply neutralizer once on the area using the same technique. For the next segment, make sure to have all materials available before beginning as timing will be crucial. You will need the part in question, the layout block with the gauge, the catalyst and adhesive, gauze, and a working microscope. Carefully lift one end of the cellophane tape and pull to a shallow angle to avoid damaging the gauge. Under a microscope, position the strain gauge on the part at the intended location with the arrow tips on the gauge within the scribed lines. With the gauge in place, Lift one end of the tape and pull at a shallow angle. Roll the installation back and with your free hand, apply a thin, uniform coat of catalyst on the exposed surface of the strain gauge and terminal pad. Allow this to dry for 60 seconds. Next, place one drop of adhesive at the junction of the tape and specimen. Holding the tape taut, slide your fingers over the gauge assembly, sticking the gauge down to the surface. Press vertically down on the gauge with your index finger for one whole minute. Keeping pressure is crucial to ensure no bubbles exist under the gauge. Wipe away excess glue. After waiting 60 seconds, verify the accuracy of the gauge placement under the microscope. If the gauge shifted during placement, Remove with a thin blade and start again from surface cleaning. If the gauge has not shifted and there are no visible bubbles beneath the gauge, then it is good to use. Thanks for joining us. For more information on our strain gauging services or any of the other residual stress measurements that we perform, click the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media to stay up to date on all things Hill Engineering. I'm Camille, and until next time, make it happen.